This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FilmlineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create cinematic tailor inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay so let's get started. Okay so first create a new composition. Let's call it trailer and I'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 24 and duration 4 seconds long then click on ok. Ok now create your first text so right click new then click on text and type your text here. I type in cinematic. Now select this text layer, then press Ctrl plus D and then type your second text. Now make it a little bit bigger. Now make it center. Perfect. Now select these two text layer, then press P now go to end of this composition then set a keyframe on position then go to beginning of this composition now change the position to something like this looks good to me now select this to text layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to text then click on ok now simply right click then go to layer style then click on gradient overlay now go to gradient overlay and click on edit gradient now change the color Now click on OK. Now select this text layer, then press Ctrl plus D to duplicate this layer. Now import our project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below. OK, now select this wall texture, then place it into this timeline. Now make it smaller. Now simply select this layer, then change the layer track mat to luma mat. Now press T on your keyboard and opacity set it 82. Now select this text layer, then press Ctrl plus D. Now turn on visibility, then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool. Then create a shape, something like this. And then press F and feather amount set it 65. Now change the layer mode to add and then go to effect and preset window and search for Gaussian blur and apply onto this layer and blurriness set it 12 then press T and opacity set it 80 perfect now go to project window and then select our texture background layer now place it into this timeline then press S and make it smaller a little bit and then go to effect and preset window and search for curves now simply select this effect and apply onto this layer now change the RGB curves to something like this design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, 
presentations, photos, audio files and more. All with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Inverter Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts and money. Get unlimited downloads with Inverter Elements and start creating today. Ok now go to project window and then select our lens flare layer then place it into this timeline. Now change the layer mode to add. Now adjust the position. Then go to begin of this animation. Then press T. Then set a keyframe on opacity and set it 0. Then go for our 10 frames. And opacity value set it 100. Now select these two keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease. Okay, now select our uh, broken glass texture and place it into this timeline. Then change the layer mode to add and then change the position if you want. Okay, now select all layers, then make it 3D by clicking here. Okay, now select this texture BG layer. Now press P and then position set it um, 1 sorry 2200 zero, zero. and then select this uh, broken glass texture then press p and then position set it to minus 1200 zero, zero. now select this texture bg layer then press s and make it bigger little bit and then select this broken glass texture layer then press s and make it smaller a little bit and adjust the position perfect okay now create a new adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer then go to effect and preset window and search for sharpen now apply onto this layer and sharpen amount set it 20. Okay, now create a uh, camera. So right click new, then click on camera, then hit OK. Then go to end of this animation, then press P, then set a keyframe, and then go to beginning of this animation, then increase the Z value, something like this. Now select these two keyframes, then press F9, then open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve to something like this. Okay, now create another adjustment layer. So right click new, then click on adjustment layer, then go to effect and preset window and search for optics compensation. Now select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer. Then go to beginning of this animation. Then click here. Now um, set a keyframe on field of view and amount set it 160. Then go to around 2 seconds 20 frames and then amount set it 0. Then press Q and then select two keyframes. Then if press F9 then open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve something like this okay now go to effect and preset window and search for version blur now simply select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer then go to beginning of this animation and then set a keyframe on blurriness and set it 80 then go for our 10 frames and then blurriness set it 0 then press Q then select these two keyframes then press F9 ok now create a new black solid layer so right click new then click on solid then click on ok now select this layer then go to a toolbar and select rectangle tool then double click on it then double click on this marks path then hold down Ctrl Alt then drag 
Now click on invert. Our animation is complete. Press 0 to run preview this. That's how I made the whole trailer. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a nice day. I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.